Ready? Well, obviously we're disappointed with the outcome. Um, you know, we knew coming in it was going to be a, a tough task coming in here and, and having to square off against the number one seed, but they're number one for a reason. They're really good. They've got a lot of good players out there that do a lot of really good things. And I think, you know, it's, it's I think, a little disappointing because I think we all felt that we could have played a little bit better. I don't think that was our best. Um, but they had a lot to do with that. They did a lot of really good things. They served very aggressively, um, kept us out of system a lot, and uh, just made it tough to, to mount any consistent kind of offensive attack. So we were playing defense a lot more than we were on offense, and, and that's always a tough thing uh, when you're playing somebody that has the kind of offensive weapons that they do. But I was really proud of the way that we battled, even though sometimes I don't think we we executed as well as we could have or, or should have. Um, but I was proud of the season that these guys have had. Um, you know, prior to the match, it, I just all of a sudden I looked at my the date, December 8th, and you know, five months ago, on August 8th, we started. Uh, and it's a long, grueling season. Um, and it's really tough for these guys trying to do this and go to school and juggle a million different things. And, uh, it's a tough thing to do, and I'm really proud that, that they were able to get um, into very elite company, you know, where there's only 16 teams left playing this weekend, and we're one of them, and they've earned it, and uh, just very proud of what they were able to do over the course of a long season. Kira, how tough was Penn State's serve as far as letting you guys stay in system or getting system? Yeah, no, honestly, I think that was probably one of the toughest serving teams we've seen all year. Um, they just they knew where to put the ball and they put it there every single time and I think as passers it, it was really difficult because they were moving us all around some were dropping short then they hit us deep and they just they clearly had a game plan to serve really tough and we struggled passing and that's honestly what did it for us tonight. How, how frustrating was that for you guys that you couldn't get a sustained offensive run other than small stretch in the third? Yeah, I mean, it was definitely frustrating, and I think I, I just kept looking to the girls, and I was like, okay, we just just won, focus on one, and you know, the problem is, it, it wasn't the one and the two and the three point runs that they would get, it was the five point, six point runs that were really killing us. And we kept saying, like, okay, we gotta stop these runs, stop these runs, but at, we would make runs, but they just would be too far in front of us to come back. Melanie, defensively, uh, Penn State really didn't have the, the one big person taking a lot of swings, it seemed like all on the net, they were getting success. How tough was that for you guys defensively to try to track them? I mean, you're just going up against big people that are hitting hard and especially high hands. So, I mean, you can put a block up there and they're going to see that and know to hit high hands. And that's how, I mean, yeah, they're a number one team. They're going to distribute the ball well. And um, I think we definitely saw that tonight. But they definitely know how to use the block to their advantage. And I think that's what they did. Maybe an unfair question, but can you compare Penn State to Florida? Uh, you know, I think it's, uh, you know, if they end up squaring off, I think it's going to be a really good match. You know, I mean, Florida, um, I think, is very physical. You know, you've got, you know, two, six, eight in the middle and, and you know, Al Hassan in the middle. Um, you know, I, I, I think they've got the physicality that would make it interesting. Um, I think they'd have to play as well too. You know, they're gonna have to play well. Um, I think anybody is to, I think, beat Penn State. I mean, you're gonna have to really play well. They've got two really, really good physical outside hitters that bail them out a lot. You know, when they get in trouble, you've got two, you know, athletic middles. You've got, I, I was impressed with their, their bigs. I mean, I call them bigs, but their bigs and their ball handling. Um, you know, they were, they were making a lot of great defense. I thought that was one of the, differences in the match. I mean, we were hustling and really working hard. We were keeping balls off the floor. Um, we weren't getting the same quality of swings in transition, you know, and, and I think that's the difference. If you don't continually attack them, you know, you can't, they just tee it up and then it's, then you're trying to defend everybody. Um, so I was impressed with their ball control for their size. Anything else? Right, thank you.